This grizzly bear is waiting. Waiting for the treasure the incoming tide will bring. Millions of salmon of several different species are now returning to these Alaskan coasts to reproduce in the same rivers in which they were born. If they get them. They are the largest brown bears in the world for a simple reason. They obtain extra rations of energy thanks to the annual presence of the salmon. The cat sets in motion a basic process in the life of all survivors on planet Earth. The process of obtaining the energy necessary for a living body to function. The energy brought by the salmon from the sea will not be used for the purpose it had intended. The meat no longer belongs to the fish. It has become part of the bear. The energy used by the bears to walk here every year is more than compensated for by the energy obtained, so much so that individuals literally cannot assimilate such enormous quantities of food. But killing does not always bring such rich rewards. Man, like the animal he is, also forms part of the energy cycle. Man learned how to use the energy of fire, and around the fire his prehensile hands developed a privileged brain capable of inventing the claws of the bear he did not have. But speech was the real motor of change. Through language, inventions were passed on from generation to generation, making it possible for humans to colonize the earth as they were able to obtain energy from other living beings, wherever they were. Just as these Australian Aborigines still do in the 21st century, human beings replaced biological evolution with cultural evolution transforming the accumulation of traditions into the most successful of all adaptive mechanisms. The final aim of all this is precisely the same need that spurs the bears on to catch the salmon, to obtain energy in an efficient manner. The hunter, having first removed the poisonous sting, proceeds to kill the ray. And killing is inevitable in the transfer of energy from one being to another. But the success of mankind as a thinking predator began in relatively recent times. Long before us, other animals honed their hunting techniques, aided by natural selection, a slow but surprisingly efficient process. On the Galapagos Islands lives a bird that is a good example of natural selection, in this case to catch fish, the brown pelican. Here, the Pacific Ocean brings fish to this young volcanic coast over 600 miles from the American continent.
The method would appear to be simple. But it's a method not all predators can use. First, you have to know how to fly. A bird like this, also equipped with its very own fishing net, can permit itself the luxury of choosing a particular fish. Since the reptiles moved over the earth, birds have without a doubt achieved the most spectacular anatomical adaptations when it comes to fishing, not only here in Galapagos, but throughout the planet. <laughs>